Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts, a Japanese cyberpunk thriller comedy hybrid from 2001 that was directed by Sogo Ishii and stars Tadanobu Asano and Masatoshi Nagase. Now I've covered all three of these gentlemen many times on my channel. In terms of Sogo Ishii films, I've reviewed Angel Dust, August in the Water, Labyrinth of Dreams, and Gojo A. And Asano and Nagase both appeared in Gojo A, by the way. And both Gojo A and Electric Dragon were produced in the same period of time. So it may have been easier for Ishii to uh, cast the same actors for logistical purposes. and just made things easier for him to, to produce both films. But is Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts worth watching? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. This movie is delightfully crazy. Now, as a child, Dragon Eye Morrison, played by Asano, undergoes electric shock treatment for his aggressive behavior. And the levels of energy absorbed by his body over the years allow him to channel and conduct electricity. Now an adult, Morrison works in the city as a reptile investigator. Yeah, see, people hire him to find reptiles, apparently. Lost reptiles, perhaps. And he has learned to channel his rage through the performance of aggressive guitar-based noise. Are you still following this? Meanwhile, Thunderbolt Buddha, played by Nagase, a TV repairman turned vigilante, has the same electroconductive powers after an accident, and he goes after crime bosses and gangsters, and eventually these two men uh, collide, I guess I would say. Now this movie has a fairly short runtime. It's a little less than an hour, so I do not want to give too much away for it because the runtime's so short. Aesthetically, the film is great. You get black and white cinematography, which is one of the signature presentation styles of Japanese cyberpunk films. You have Tetsuo the Iron Man, Rubber's Lover, Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts. Sometimes these cyberpunk films like to use that black and white cinematography. And the color scheme is... It's certainly consistent with an emphasis on technology, machinery, cityscapes. You know, black and white is almost uh, kind of like a metallic type of uh, aesthetic, right? And this film also has a strong urban vibe to it. Lots of tall structures, claustrophobic locations, alleyways, streets, stuff like that. The lighting is quite bright in this. Much of the film was shot during the day, but even the night scenes have some pretty uh, bright lighting which provides a nice contrast for the black and white uh, colors. There are many shots of lizards as well which is likely visual references to dragons of lore you know as a you know given the title of the film and everything it, you, you could kind of piece together what they're going for in this as you watch it. Soundtrack is nuts. Uh, Sogo Ishii's uh, he has his own band I think Asano is, is part of it at times too where they have like an industrial noise band, well, they developed and contributed to the soundtrack in the film. Very energetic, to say the least, in terms of music. Gives the film a driving force. This film, Electric Dragon, it does have a little bit of an experimental feel to it, but the narrative is always there. You know, it's comprehensible enough to know what's going on. It's also the most lighthearted Japanese cyberpunk film you're probably ever going to see. Some of these movies can get real dark, violent. Uh, you know, this one's, it's practically family-friendly entertainment. It really is. It makes me smile a lot more than other films of this kind, that's for sure. You know, there's quite a bit of humor generated through the absurdity of these situations with these two guys and their powers and what they use their powers for. There's a neat little uh, set of metallic, like, contraptions and devices that these guys use. It kind of helps with the world building and uniqueness uh, to the film overall. And the pacing is strong due, due to the shorter runtime. And, uh, you know, there's certain scenes that uh, they get pretty crazy, man. You could tell Asano's not messing around when he grinds away on his whammy bar and his guitar. Like, you don't want to you don't want to get this guy angry. So, that's all I want to say about this. If you like... You know, if like a, a punk rockin', black and white cyberpunk thriller comedy sounds like it might be up your alley, I strongly recommend Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts. It's a hoot. Uh, I, would, I would call it a hoot. Uh, very easy to find on DVD. Streaming, I wasn't able to find it quite as easily, so you might have to 
you know, the DVD is pretty affordable, I think. And as always, we will see you next time.